come back. Now, Vizwani Multipurpose Cooperative in Chasefu District of Eastern Province is poised to become one of the major suppliers of fish in the eastern region after stocking over 24,000 fingerlings. Cooperative Chairperson John Wandera says opportunities in the aquaculture sector must be harnessed to unlock jobs in rural areas. Mr. Wandera adds that the 1.7 million kwacha funding from Zambia Integrated Forest Landscape Project will benefit over 55 members of the cooperative, mainly women and youths. And Acting Chasefu District Fisheries and Livestock Coordinator Crispin Morphia has hailed the cooperative saying fish farming is profitable. Situated in the remotest part of the Chasefu District in Eastern Province is the Zwani Aquaculture and Forest Project. It belongs to a Mount Purpose Cooperative consisting of vulnerable but viable women and young people with a desire to fight the devastating effects of climate change. With support from Zambia Integrated Forest Landscape Project, the cooperative has ventured into aquaculture business. As a start, about 24,000 fish fingerlings have been stocked in these fish ponds. We have been waiting for such an opportunity of being empowered so that we start our business. In our cooperative, we want to make sure that we manage this project very well and be suppliers in the province. The cooperative projects to make not less than 350,000 kwacha on each by the end of May, with the aim of reducing poverty at household level. Profit. We don't want to stop here. We want to move from here because meaning we need to have a lot of projects. Christine Mafia is an expert in the Department of Fisheries. So our people are always on the ground to make sure that anything that the farmers might find a bit difficult, they are there to give them the technical support. Yes, okay. especially in the line of feeding, because as you know, feeding is very important for our fish. If we do samples on a monthly basis, mm. we sample, we weigh, then we adjust the, the regime. Because if we continue feeding at the same rate, it means we'll be underfeeding our fish. Lufayo Ngoma is a Sefo district commissioner and explains what the project means. Because uh, people here are used to cutting down of trees, uh, uh, coming up with charcoal and selling to nearby country Malawi. But coming up with this project, it has really uh, brought an impact. Uh, we are really preserving the trees now because most of the people have been drawn into this project. And uh, even those who are just doing nothing now, they have something to do and has really done a lot of work. As you can see behind me, there's also a natural forest, which we have also preserved. With 10 hectares of secured arable land, the cooperative also plans to invest in beekeeping here. Samo, Sylvester Kwawe, Diamond News, Josefu, Eastern. The Zambia Compulsory 